in this video you are going to be learning colour blending. So, sit back, relax, and let the good times roll. A few months ago we did do a ultimate guide to tattoo shading. So, this will be the ultimate guide to colour blending. A lesser go. So first off, this is not a colour theory video. You are not going to be learning what colours match with which colours and what colours you should dip into to achieve the colour that you want. That's not what we're doing in this video. We are literally looking at how I blend my colour to get smooth transitions from one colour to the next. Now, I don't do much colour. You'll see going through the videos, there's not a lot of videos about colour, if any. I actually think this might be the first video that I've done specifically for colour. But that isn't because I don't know how to do colour, it's just a choice that I like doing black and grey more. But when I do do colour, I always have three cups of water to start. I have one for my lights, I have one for my darks, and I have one cup of water just to wash the tattoo down, because as you guys know, I do not use green soap. For the purpose of this video, I picked out four colors. Those colors being dark red, a lipstick red, a bright orange, and a atomic yellow. I figured that it were best to keep it pretty simple, but everything that you learn in this video does apply to all your colour blending needs. Whether you are doing traditional or whether you are doing realism, the blend is the same throughout. So let's talk about the technique that I am using. Whether it be for colour or for black and grey, I am always, always using the pendulum technique. If you don't know what the pendulum technique is, it is this back and forth pendulum motion. Now with colour specifically, sometimes I do combine the pendulum motion with a round circle motion depending on how packed I need that colour to be. But for the most part the pendulum motion will pack in colour and it will also give you that nice transition into your next colour. Now first I am always for the most part getting in my darkest colour. In that case that would be the red. Doing that pendulum motion back and forth, doing those little small circles where I want it to be nice and packed. But I am always starting with the darkest colour. Now, as you can see, once I've put the red in there, I am leaving a nice fade ready for my next color, that being the orange. Now, when I dip in the orange and I start working that orange, I am working that orange into the red, but I'm also working the orange on the other side, fading it out ready for that yellow. Once that orange is done, I'm working on that yellow again, working that yellow into the orange, which has worked into the red. So at this point, you are starting to get somewhat of a nice fade. However, sometimes you may find that you need to go back into your orange or your red because the blend just isn't quite there. It's not smooth enough. It doesn't transition well enough. So in that case, what you would do is you would dip back in your orange and go back over your yellow very, very lightly and just building up that orange on top of that yellow. And then again, if you need to go back into your red and then build up that red back into your orange. And then once you have done that, you have something that looks like this. 
Now it's important that when you do colour, you are not overworking that skin because as you can see, sometimes the blend isn't quite there and you need to go back in just to get a better blend. And if you've overworked the skin as you've been getting your base colours down, that's not going to give you enough time to start building up those colours and getting those crispier blends. Now sometimes colour artists do not rinse between dips. They will do their red, let their red completely run out and then dip in their orange without cleaning out their needle. Now, I'm not a big advocate of that. I like to wash my needle between colors pretty much all the time. I just feel that I have more control that way. Now, some of you may actually struggle with this and you may want to start light and then build up your tones on top. And you can do that absolutely 100% you can start light and then start building up your tones on top if you feel like that gives you a smoother blend and a lot more control when it comes to your color saturation it is very easy to start layering red on top of orange as you can see and you can get a nice blend just as easy however again you just need to be wary of that overworking and make sure you've given yourself enough time on skin without overworking to get the blends in that you need when you are going from light to dark now i know i said this isn't a color theory video but when it comes to color blending you need to pick the colors first and foremost that are going to work the best also, when it comes to colour, sometimes it takes a while for your colour to sell in before you actually see the blends that you are putting in. If you have two different types of red, a dark red and a light red, and the difference between that dark red and that light red isn't a lot, when you layer that dark red into that lighter red, it is going to be really hard for you to see what you are doing until that color is settled in. So please make sure you are aware of that. But guys, that is pretty much color blending in a nutshell. If you want to watch a video on how to blend with black and gray, then I suggest you all watch this video here. Anyway, guys, if you are new around here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to like this video and do not forget to turn on the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you would like any extra benefits, I do offer a few Patreon tiers. The link is in the description. You will get access to a private Discord server where I can critique your work privately, answer all your questions privately, and give you all the help that you need privately. Depending on the tier that you pick, you can also get Zoom calls with me so we can go through your work. But guys, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.